The queues for screenings are socially distanced under the sunshine, but attendees are happy to return in person to the 60th edition of the ANSI International Animated Film Festival. This year, the spotlight is on African animation. I think this festival is really well-timed to celebrate African talent because not just because of COVID, but because of the internet. The playing field has been flattening for a very long time. So some tools which could only be accessed by some people who are able to go to some place to study are now readily available by groups of people from all over the world. The festival draws global talent to the picturesque town of Annecy in the southeast of France. From seasoned directors to emerging talents like Malian student Moise Togo, whose film, $75,000, shows how animation can be used to explore difficult themes. It's a film about albinism. There are false beliefs around this in Africa. I mixed live footage with 3D animation. Showcasing the full spectrum of the industry, ANSI also presents the best in children's animation. Produced in the Ivory Coast, the series Kenda tackles educational topics, including the importance of free elections and protecting the environment. We try to deal with really serious subjects, but adapt them for children. Make things easier so that children can absorb the basic idea. That way, when they grow up, they will have these values. But while African animation is flourishing, it's not yet as well known as other more established sectors. It's not as present as European, American or Asian animation. I think that African animation is not known widely enough. And from what I've seen, it's worth exploring. Disney has also spotted the potential on the continent and for the first time is collaborating with a pan-African studio for the series Iwaju. Before this year's event, only 47 African films have been screened in the 60 years that ANSI Festival has existed. Organizers hope that this year marks a turning point.